This is your forecast for the month of February 2018. This is a general reading for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising, or Taurus Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer, where you can find on-demand pages for love, finance, and other readings. Your weekly readings will always be free here on YouTube, but if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'm now at patreon.com, The Alchemist Astrologer, and all of this information is down below in the description box. Now, the third week, you have the Lover's card, and so this is a major week for you. For some of you, there's a tie to a Gemini person, but for others of you, your partnerships, your collaborations, working with others, union, will be very important, and you'll have some choices to make this week. Now, if last week there were issues of seduction, this could be a week where you're having to make some choices. You're struggling with some kind of temptation. Maybe there's a romantic meeting or some type of attraction. Uh, maybe you're involved in a romantic love affair. Maybe you're having to adjust in some way sexually to a partnership, or this is a new relationship, or you're reviewing an important relationship you're already involved in. So this is a week about trust and duality in some form or another. Now, some of you, maybe you're paying to take, you know, you're, you, there's a, a, an agreement to pay for something, some offer, maybe you're taking a trip or, you know, there's a decision you have to make about some kind of work agreement, a major choice. If this is health, maybe you're dealing with issues surrounding health or healing and there's some important decisions to be made whatever it is you're having to make a choice and there may be some form of trial involved in it but the focus is on commitment this week and your collaborations with others and this is a week where you can improve a situation or repair it or get some clarity and so you're going to gain some awareness about something and more understanding of yourself and other people. And hopefully you're going to feel better about that. This could be a week where one or two people are going to be very important to your destiny. They're going to be important to your future. Or it could be that you're reconnecting with someone from your past. Whatever it is, this is a week where you feel connection to others. You feel more responsible, more dedicated. And this is a week where people feel the same toward you. You're very magnetic this week. You've got a lot of personal appeal and people want to be with you somehow in whatever capacity. And that, of course, is very flattering. It feels good. It's enjoyable. But it also gets in the way of what you're trying to do, especially if you were working on something, something that was important to you. You had a goal in mind. So you may have to, you know, get very organized, be very discerning about how you want to spend your time. Now, also, you know, when you deal with people, uh, you know, there's a difference of opinion, Everybody's doing their own thing, and sometimes, you know, sometime during this week, you may experience some form of tension with another person. So it's going to be very important how you deal with that. Fortunately, this is a week where you feel, again, more spontaneous, more lighter, and so you're prone to smooth things over in a positive way. You may make a joke or you may make light of something, make light of the difference where the other person doesn't feel threatened by that difference. And this is also a week 
where if you were working on something important to you, um, again, maybe creative or intuitive or intellectual in some way, you're going to be making leaps and bounds in your advancement. And people are going to notice your skills, your talents, your work. You may be getting some kind of promotion. Maybe you get a bonus or, you know, you get an award for your work or some kind of special recognition. Now, if you had to smooth something over, somebody may be getting an apology this week. Uh, Because you're having encounters where there's maybe some difficult choices or some kind of strain in the relationship, it's, it may be, you know, you may feel as if you want to not say everything. Remember last week, the Knight of Cups wasn't being completely honest. He wasn't showing all of his feelings. He wasn't putting all of his cards out on the table. And so you may feel like it would be better to repress your emotions, to not fully share something. But again, this is a week of clarity, of improving something. And the only way you're, you're able to do that is by being honest and open with other people and sharing. Because if not, you're just going to create some misunderstandings. This is also a week where maybe you're looking at where you've been bending over a little bit too much, where you have been giving in too much, where you have been accommodating others uh, and not being really true to yourself. So when you release all of that, when you let go of the pressure of feeling that you have to perform to someone else's standards, your relationships are going to improve this week. Now, again, remember, you've got a lot of personal appeal. And so how you use that charisma this week is going to be important. Will you exploit it? Will you pull it out and, you know, use it in a very superficial manner in order to serve your agenda? Or will you use it in a way where other people feel comfortable with you, where they feel happy that they crossed your path? So how you use your charm is going to be very important this week. Uh, You know, especially when there's something that you want. You want somebody to see something your way. 